here it's a bird it's a plane it's another wig show and tell and today's wig show and tell is brought to you by outre if you're interested in this wig i will be sure to leave a website link of online beauty supply stores you could purchase from this is one of their sleek part wigs and having a style perry in the color number two Here's a close-up of the inside cap construction. It comes as a left side part. In the front, you get two combs in the front, another comb in a nape air with adjustable straps. As for the cap material, it is made on a stretch fit breathable material. And the lace is coming off transparent, but the lace is soft. As for the hair texture, it is on the silky side. This is how the wig comes straight out of the package. Here is a close up of the parting space and the hairline. The parting space comes pre plugged, but the hairline comes lightly pre plugged. You also get baby hairs on the hairline. As for the amount of lace you get in the front, I would say it's about a centimeter or no more than an inch of lace that's on the hairline. So this part is optional. I'm just going in so I can get my end results the way i would like it you do not have to go on in you do not have to go in with no and it's hot comb if you don't want to but i'm just going in and i'm just pressing down the parting space it pretty much comes flat but it could use a little bit more flattening in my eyes so yeah i'm just pressing down the roots of the parting space and then i'm going to press down the roots of the hairline The baby hairs that come by the forehead, I'm going to pluck some of that out because I don't plan on using any forehead baby hairs on me. The luster of this wig is coming off shiny, so I'm going to go in with Kendra Volume Dry Shampoo and just spray some of this all over the hair. When using this spray, it sometimes leaves a white residue, so in order to get that out, I just go in with the comb and just keep combing it until it starts to fade out. When cutting off the extra lace, this time I'm going to go in with eyebrow scissors. y'all ready for the install so first i go in and apply some makeup powder underneath the lace right there in the back is where i hook the adjustable straps and i'm also going in with a brown stocking cap underneath the wig After trying on the wig, I noticed the lace was still coming off a little too light on my skin. So the leftover foundation that I had on my brush, I just took it and wiped it on top of the lace. To help spray down my wig for this wig show and tell, I'm going in with the Wig Dealer Melting Spray. And I'm just going to spray one layer of this on top of the lace by the air tab.
Okay, beautiful family, right here is my end result. And I cannot even front. This cut is giving sharp bobby on -ness. I need to stop because that's not even a word. But I tried my best with the install, and I'm just going to say my final thoughts. This wig is definitely beginner friendly, especially if you want to get into the frontal look without really having too much of a frontal. I do wish there was more parting space on the side so I can go in and pluck the hairline, but this is how they made the bob for people that's just looking for something that's beginner friendly so they could throw on and go. I think it's very cute for the office and for the heat if you're a person that don't like all that hair on their neck. The hair texture is on the sleek side. I think Outre did a very good job cutting the wig because I don't have to go in and cut the wig myself. And I also love how the bob, it doesn't have too much of a bump underneath towards the ends of the hair. You get a about, I would say about a four inch to five inch deep parting space. As for the hair density, the hair density is on the low side and I'm completely okay with that because it go with the style of the wig. The parting space comes on the left side, so this bob is for my left side people. Sorry, right side people. A lot of y'all already know I'm a right side girl. And the bob could sometimes get in the face too much, but even with me putting it behind my ear, I really love that side swept look with the bob. It's really cute. Like, it goes with my face. And when I was styling the wig, I didn't get any tangling. As for shedding, shedding was on the low side. When I was installing the wig on my head, I didn't hook the adjustable straps close at all. So if you are a person with a head circumference of 23 inches, maybe even 24, you are in for the clear. This wig is definitely big head friendly. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch. And if you do not follow me on TikTok, I have a TikTok. That's even if they still keeping TikTok out. But follow me at Body by Care to see what kind of wigs I do before they come out on YouTube. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.